Hey everyone, Rascal here and Mama. Love great dollar store finds? Well, we do too, and who doesn't love a bargain? Well, your local dollar store or close to it has them. Yes, on Wednesdays we share our unbelievable DVD finds. This week we found Star Dog and Turbo Cat. Can you believe that's a real title? Yes, now this is another animated movie that takes on uh, superhero pets. Yes. Kind of like Bolt. Yes. But not done as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, with can kind of be called a, so, a somewhat um, B-level voice cast, sorry guys, <laughs> we'll read you the back of the DVD cover. Mm -hmm. Launched into space by his scientist owner in 1969, loyal dog Buddy crash lands in the present day which they never tell you when present day is, right. in a small town where pets are no longer welcome. And then they never explain why that is either. No. Desperate to be reunited with his owner, Buddy recruits a tech whiz cat named Felix. Yes, Felix, no joke. And <laughs> together they embark on a daring madcap adventure, starring Luke Evans, Nick Frost, Gemma Adderton, and Bill Nighy. Star Dog and Turbo Cat is a hilarious animated sort of. tale about friendship, sort of. true heroism, Sort of. And the bond between a pet and owner. Not so, so much. No. Oh my goodness. And also there's an appearance by Charlie D'Amelio. Dema, Dema, yes. Who was pretty much promoted as the biggest star they had in the film voicing the mouse. Yes. So, this was something we decided to take a chance on. Rascal found it. Said it looked fun. It's got a cat and a dog. They're superheroes. Let's give it a try. Right. And you know me, I like to try just about anything superhero related. It has dogs and cats. Right. So <laughs> for here, as you said, we were kind of thinking of League of Super Pets long before Super Pets became a movie. And in a way... I, was, I have to cut you off and say that this movie is more accurate and true or a better representation of superhero pets than the movie that's out. And yes. that's saying something. Yes. And what's ironic is that um, in here, in this world, uh, the dog is sent up into space, kind of like one of those when they send animals to space to, to test Monkeys. out things. Yeah. Right. So, of course, something goes wrong. He's stuck in space for quite some time. He does not disclose how many years it's been or what year it is. When he comes back down to the town he was born in, um, apparently the town outlaws pets. Well, the movie takes place in 2019, so I guess somewhere around I guess then. 18 or 19. Yeah, I'm, we're gonna say that. And as, it, as he comes back, he's expecting to find his owner. He said he promised he would find him again, which sounds like a really nice thing to see. Like, he comes back years, he wants to find his owner. Then the movie starts, and then uh, pets are outlawed. They're not just disliked. They will throw them in jail. And put them to sleep if they so much see a dog walking on the street. And they don't play around, they kill the pets. And you do not know why or who started this. Were they so upset over losing the pets that they decided no more pets at all? Did someone hate pets and decide they should be outlawed? Did a pet not want them to be friends with humans? It's never explained why this town is so dead set on taking out animals. Right. And they just and all the pets are now an underground secret society of superhero pets that fight for their freedom. And it's like, what the heck is this? <laughs> now Buddy ends up like the characters in Fantastic Four. Somehow he comes back with superpowers. Yes. Guess something happens in space, gamma rays or some type of rays. Something happens where he ends up with superpowers like uh, crypto. He, yes. He's got speed. He's got strength. He's, he's got, got hearing. Yes. Flight. So that's how he becomes a superhero. And then we meet along the way. Felix, also known as Turbo Cat later. Yeah. But he's like the Batman of this universe. Right. So I'm cat form. <laughs> right. So, so, yeah, you're pretty much right. Turbo Dog is Crypto and Superman, and he's Batman. And Felix is kind of a jerk a lot of the movie. He's like Barnaby in the beginning of. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, like I don't mean to sound that bad. We love Barnaby, but he's like Barnaby in the beginning of the series. He's really antagonistic, and he's very wealthy. Right. And Rascal and he, will tell you how he made his wealth. And he's arrogant, and he's a loner, and he doesn't trust anyone. So, yeah, he's kind of like Bunny and Tiger and Bunny in the beginning. Yes. And you kind of wonder, okay, this cat can't have an owner because pets are outlawed. So how does this cat afford all this technology, the robot butler, the costume, the little car, and everything? 
Well, he the made cat cave. the cat cave. Yeah. And you wonder how did he afford all this? Well, they reveal later, and it's actually the most creative thing they've done in the whole movie is that he got rich off of being an internet star he makes he films himself doing cat videos and he gets monetization and sponsorships for it so he got his money being an internet star and he made so much cash that he was able to buy himself all these things it was actually the most creative thing they had because he didn't even need an owner he could do it himself yes and you're right that is the best part when you hear it you're like oh my gosh that's brilliant that's brilliant so of course they're antagonistic in the beginning and then by the end they do become partners and you know, and friends mm -hmm. and partners in superheroism that's the right. way to put it and you have some characters that kind of look like reminders from other shows like the bunny reminds you definitely of the one from Zootopia right there was no uh, ignoring that and she was the one who Charlie voiced right and then you have a robot that looks like the one from why um Wally. I didn't right. think about it, but Wally. Right. So you had references from other movies within this movie. Right. And then you had the mouse that was too shy to speak, but she was great at making gadgets and everything. And the pets themselves are creative in terms of how they wrote them. Uh, there's a fish that is like the. He's the uh, Mega weapon. Mind fish. Right. He's, me <laughs> he's basically Mega Mind's fish. And he knows everything about artillery and weaponry and strategy, but he can't touch any of it, but he knows everything about weaponry, He's and he's gun crazy. And <laughs> then you have a rabbit, interestingly enough, used to be a magician's rabbit, and she learned to do disappearing acts and tricks, which was actually creative. The concept of the pets and their skills, based on who they used to have as their owners and what they learned, is actually really creative. Even with the Superman dog and Batman cat, it's actually creative. They're yes. trying to parody DC, but still trying to make their own character that was the most second most interesting thing about them trying to make these animals feel like okay what would these pets powers be realistically in this world and this is what's set up they do a pretty good job of that they yes. just don't use it to its full potential aside from the turbo cat it's not really brought out to being like what's the best you can do with these ideas yes definitely and it is a fun watch there's great funny moments and there's some heroic moments and there are some sad moments especially in terms of the, the pets and how they're treated and seeing some backstories for some of them yeah and it does have a happy ending which surprisingly you know, I yeah love. and i think the voice cast that was chosen was great except we kept imagining will arnett as turbo cat yeah we thought he would have been perfect but it's fine whom they got but we kept hearing oh will arnett would have been great for this role he would have been perfect for this role right and definitely want to point out at the end, they also hint at they're going to do a sequel, but I don't think it did that with Doom ones, but we'll see. Well, it's it was only 2019, a right. Right, so it, it might get one later, because we're surprised some other things get sequels. They have in the end credits where it's kind of like a comic. It doesn't say it's based off a comic, but they have the end credits stylized like a comic book and done in 2D. And we were saying, well, why wasn't the movie done in this style? It's done in a 3D fashion, which is passable it's not bad but it's not amazing it's just like okay it looks pretty good and that's it they did this 2d style in the comics where it was really dynamic and they were doing like a comic book and it was action oriented and it was really well drawn and colored it's like why wasn't the movie animated done like a comic maybe book cost more. but so maybe CGI more than the cgi yeah. like you would have loved to have seen it done in that that, format. that felt like super pets and it was even called originally super pets but clearly they had to change it for copyright or get mixed up right. so they went and changed it to star dog and turbo cat so do we recommend you get star dog and turbo cat if you see it at your local dollar or somewhat dollar store yes absolutely it's worth the investment because it's a fun watch and again it's got fun it's got drama it's got a little sadness it's got heroism and this is closer to what we will have wanted in the super pets movie that came out recently than what we've gotten from it right no because hate there are some like funny it. parts in this movie but it is really a superhero movie yes unlike the one that's out now it seems to be more of a comedy and they've changed so many elements that were in the the uh graphic novels that is almost unrecognizable to what we've read yeah so yes watch it and let us know what you think in the comments below if you've already seen star dog and turbo cat let us know how did you like it? Did you see it when it was full price or was it in the theater near you? Right. Let us know. Right. 
And if you haven't already, subscribe for updates, weekly videos, and your favorite anime series, anime shows, and all things animation. And one other thing. If you've seen the current Super Pets movie, let us know what you think in the comments. We haven't seen it yet. Are we wrong about how the trailer looks and the first nine minutes we got to see is a sneak peek? Let us know because we really would love for this movie to be great. Because yes. the graphic novels that it's based on, or that it's adapted from, I should say, were really fantastic. And I really like for it to turn out to be something good. Right. Also, if you love our dollar store finds, share them with your friends. Share them online. Community tab, we really appreciate it. And uh, if you want to support your channel, let us know in the comments below. Tell us your channel name. Also, leave us a link. We'll be sure to check it out and give you a follow. Yes. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm Entertainment. And I'm Mom Entertainment. And have a tuned, fantastic day. Peace.